Hi, Donald here with Floating Feathers Kayak Fly Fishing School with another Tips and Tricks. And this Tips and Tricks is on paddle weight. Does paddle weight matter? It really depends. Um, yes, it matters, but only in certain circumstances or for certain individuals or for certain types of kayaking or kayak fishing. So, what does that mean? It really depends. Um, so, a casual kayaker on a short trip, weight really isn't going to be that big of a deal. Um, and I've got five different paddles here, and I'm just using some bending branches, um, mainly because I use bending branches. Um, they're, they're a great company. Um, I represent them. I'm on the ambassador team now. Um, and I've been using bending branches since I started kayaking, so it, they're not new to me. Uh, these are, I've been using these long before I became an ambassador um, to their brand. However, I've got five different brands here, or, excuse me, five different models here. I've got a bending branches whisper. I've got a uh, angler scout and an angler classic. I've got the angler ace and the angler navigator and that's five drastically different paddles and what i mean by drastically different paddles is they all five weigh different but the difference between this one which is the heaviest one i have up here which is the angler uh excuse me the, the bending branches whisper and the lightest one which is my angler ace is only a few ounces not pounds not a half a pound ounces a few ounces so what does that mean well it means that if you're only going out for three hours or less, the weight of the paddle really isn't going to be that detrimental to your paddling experience or your excursion. The weight really isn't going to come into a factor in that short a period of time. Now, if you're a semi-experienced kayaker or an experienced kayaker that has uh, proper paddle technique, um, and what I mean by proper paddle technique, you've taken paddling classes or you've uh, you've, you, you, are, you, are, you have learned the kayaking side of kayak fishing. Um, and there's a lot of us out there that just haven't learned as much as the kayaking side as we had the fishing side because we, we took fishing from the dock or from the land or from a boat and we brought it over to kayaking. But there's a lot, of a, there's a, there's a lot to kayak fishing and a lot of that is kayaking. And uh, I think as, as, as a sport um, and as anglers and kayak anglers, it, 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 it behooves us. It, it is beneficial and advantageous for all of us to learn the kayaking side of kayak fishing. Um, you'll enjoy the sport better. You'll get more efficient at paddling, performing, the boat performance, everything else. But that's in another video. Um, you can look at all my videos and, and figure out the, that, that little tips and tricks. But um, so for casual kayakers, that uh, they really won't notice much of a difference in the weight if they're only going out for a few hours. And to be honest, if you're a casual kayaker, the weight really isn't going to be the biggest concern for you. The, the feel the, of, the, of, the, of the kayak handle, if you will, the, 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 the grip that you hang on to, um, the diameter of that shaft, um, as it's called, um, that's going to play more into your comfort than the weight will if you're a casual kayaker. And the reason I say that is that if you're only going out for a few hours, you want something that's going to be comfortable in your hand and you're not, want to, you're not going to try to want to grip that too much. Um, this one uh, with nice, bright, shiny aluminum, this gets hot in the sun. So if you're going out in the daylight, I mean, even, even this black part where your hands are supposed to go, right, still gets pretty warm because it is aluminum. Um, so keep that in mind if you're going out um, kayaking that if this is sitting in the sun, it's going to get warm. It's going to be a little hot to the touch. Um, so a casual kayaker, you may want to look at a different type of shaft, um, materials, blade size. So I'm going to get into that in just a minute. Um, so as far as weight, does it matter to a casual kayaker? It's only going out for less than three hours. Not really. Um, for a semi-experienced kayaker um, that may have not taken paddling lessons, but is going to go out for a longer excursion. You know, some of you kayak anglers are tournament anglers, or you, you know, you're going out for five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours in a day. Weight's going to matter to you. Okay, so you want to get the lightest paddle that you can afford. And I know it's only a few ounces, but when you're holding that kayak paddle and you're trying to position yourself and you're paddling all day, um, you might be fighting wind, you might be fighting current, you might be fighting wakes or things like that. Um, that weight of that paddle, overall weight of that paddle, is going to make a difference after a few hours, um, especially if you're paddling longer distances. And same with you casual kayakers. If you're paddling five miles or so, which is going to take longer than three hours, a, a, a lightweight paddle is going to make a difference. Um, for you experienced kayak paddlers or kayak anglers, um, and this includes experienced kayak ang kayakers, right? Not your casual ones, I only do this on the weekend, never really had a paddling class, but those that are actual experienced kayaking uh, kayak anglers or kayakers. 
Weight is going to make a big difference as well because you're going to want the most efficient return or uh, uh, best return on your effort to paddle that kayak, right? And the lighter the paddle, the more apt you are going to be to get return on your effort. You're not, you're not going to have to use as much effort to move that paddle um, and everything else. Now, here is where a monkey gets thrown into the wrench or a wrench gets thrown into the works, however they say it. I'm not really sure. Anyway, here's where it kind of gets uh, a little bit different. So does weight matter? Let's cover that. Weight doesn't really matter on short excursions. Um, or to those that are not going out um, for long trips. And I mean short excursions time-wise and short excursions length-wise. If you're going out on a long excursion, either time-wise or, or length-wise, paddle-wise, weight is going to make a difference because you're going to have to hold that paddle longer. Um, it's going to add it's going to it's going to add to your fatigue. The heavier it is, the lighter it is, the less fatigue you're going to get just from holding the sheer weight. And it's only a few ounces, but it does add up after hours on the water. Now, what matters more than weight? I'll tell you, material and blade size. And I'll get into that in a different video in the future, but if you're looking at just sheer what makes, if, if weight makes a difference, if you're only going out for a few hours, no. If you're going out for more hours, like three or more hours, or you're going out for, let's say, five miles or more, then yes, weight makes a difference. Now, blade size, shaft size, Length, of course, makes a difference, but also the materials that it's made out of. And I kind of touched on that a little bit. With this one being made of aluminum, it gets really hot in the sun. Some of these are carbon, some of these are carbon fiber, some of these are um, fiberglass. So each one reacts a little different. Um, some flex more than others, some don't flex as much. Uh, blades are the same way. Some blades are stiffer, some blades are more flexible. The blade shape, the blade size, the scoop, or the part that scoops the water, right? You don't, your blade's not flat, it's got a slight scoop. I mean, I'm exaggerating, it's not like this, but it is sort of like a spoon, right? You have a, a convex side and a concave side. And I'll get into that video. I'll make another video on the differences in those paddles and why some paddles cost, you know, $50 or $80 or $100 and some paddles cost upwards of $500 or more. There is a difference in all of that and it can make a difference in your pleasure on the water. But that is a different video. So I appreciate you all watching. Thanks, Bending Branches, for making some fantastic products. Um, I use these in my school, I use these in my classes, and I use these on my personal trips. And uh, I, this is, of course, you're probably going to see this one most often. Um, one, because I really like it. Um, I'm not concerned about the weight. It's one of the heavier ones of all this stuff. Um, but I really like the way it paddles, uh, the, way it, the way it looks. It's just a beautiful paddle. And sometimes, if I'm not going out for a few hours, I just really like, I just really enjoy the way this uh, bending branches angler navigator looks um, and it just it's a beautiful paddle um, anyway uh, thank you all for watching please tune in every tuesday at 2 p.m central right here on the floating feathers kayak fly fishing school channel for more tips and tricks and until next time tight lines and safe paddles